Hey guys, so I have in my JBL Pulse 5, but I have to point out this is a fake version of it. This one was actually sold as Plusa 5. You can also really simply say that it is fake because when you turn it on, it doesn't have this regular JBL jingle or it plays some uh, or it speaks to you in some way. And then also, when you take a look at the button panel here, you see this one under this flap, you have a USB A. Uh, port and also an SD card slot, so that's definitely not original. So uh, we're gonna open this thing up and going to take a look inside, see what it looks like. And uh, the first thing to do that is we're going to remove all the screws here underneath this uh, rubber piece that's hiding all the buttons. So we have here three uh, Phillips screws that we can take out, and under there we find a whole bunch of buttons. And then also here, of course, the USB-C, USB-A, and a uh, SD card slot that pop off this plastic cover here. And then underneath, you see uh, a small PCB. And then you also saw on the uh, plastic cover that there was an additional slot that wasn't actually populated, or that was actually covered by that uh, rubber piece. See this here next to the USB-C port, there's another hole there. But then there's actually nothing populated on the uh, on the PCB, so there's nothing there. There can't even be anything there. The PCB layout isn't actually supporting anything in that position. So yeah, so we're trying to open this thing up and get everything out. So uh, another piece we can remove really easily is here this uh, the lanyard. So just peel off that little additional rubber piece. There's two screws underneath, and we can pop this off. So maybe we can. Uh, now remove everything from this uh, clear plastic piece and uh, so the question is do we move everything down downwards or do we move it upwards how do we get everything out if we look at take a look from the side and you see here this PCB um, the way that it's angled it's pretty obvious that everything has to come down towards the bottom side here where the uh, passive radiator is but I don't really see any way to remove any screws here you see there's these little rubber pads um, but those are very small so there's no screws going to be underneath there probably and uh, from the top end we have some access point that's here the grill for the speaker so let's see if we can pop this off and then here the uh, other plastic part here the white plastic that's probably also glued on or there may be some screws underneath the uh, cover here so the grill the speaker that comes off really easily you can see this here i'm just going to uh, pry those parts out here there's just three different spots that hold this grill or four different spots that hold this grill in place this comes off really easy and then underneath here we have the driver so it looks like a 40 millimeter driver and then around there is some uh, some tape probably to uh prevent moisture from getting inside it's definitely not waterproof the speaker so we can peel this off a little bit and when we peel this off then we are going to see there's a couple of screws so there's four small Phillips screws that we can also remove you see these one on each corner so after we take those off then we can pop out the driver do you immediately see here also that this is not an original JBL driver. Just look at the size of the magnet. This is just not something that uh, JBL uh, uses for these kind of speakers anymore. So usually they're doing some uh, neodymium magnets and not these old classic ferrite ones. So this driver is like one of the cheaper kinds and then here you see the wire. There's two speaker wires going down to that PCB as it looks like and then here we have a small piece of uh, fabric here or like a, a padding piece that's sitting up on top of that pillar there in the middle and on, this, on the sides there you see the uh, four strips with the LEDs so these LEDs are lighting up the speaker so let's see uh, what's underneath that little piece of cushioning here, that padding. Let's see if we can take that off. Yeah, that was really easy and underneath 
we find here probably it looks like the batteries so this looks like they have glued in the uh, traditional 18650 batteries in here into this little tube where the uh, LEDs the LED strips are glued onto and if we do a really simple measurement here then probably the batteries are going from the bottom all the way up to here so uh, that may indicate that there's two 18650 batteries located inside of of the speaker and amazingly that seems to be pretty much all that's inside of here so you have that um, milk glass plastic on the outside that's just diffusing the LEDs and then here on the bottom you have the passive radiator and if we uh, if you take a deep look inside then you can see on the bottom when you look inside the bottom here that's already the passive radiator so let me uh, just push on the passive radiator from the outside here you can also see, already see my uh, finger here creating a shadow and you see here now that I'm pushing on the re passive radiator that's really it so we can really look straight straight down all the way so there's really nothing else inside here so that's pretty impressive impressive actually if you take a look at the size of that PCB that we have here so that takes care of everything right so this takes care of battery charging and Bluetooth and also here the lighting so that's pretty small and now since I don't see any more additional screws I believe that the, the white plastic parts also actually just glued on so the top part doesn't really do anything at all really the top white ring here uh, that's just a little bit protecting the driver maybe and the grill and then the bottom part that's where the uh, entire internals of the speaker are going to push inside and uh, so I'm not going to try to remove that because I believe also here this part is just uh, glued together with that clear plastic so I'm just going to uh, leave it as it is and then so they are going to push everything all the plastic and the PCB and the batteries inside together with the uh, speaker wires and then once everything is pushed through then they're going to just uh, solder on the speaker wires here to the driver and then they're going to install the driver and uh, then call it a day well then now let's have a peek at what it looks like from the inside when the uh, speaker is actually powered on and the uh, leds are lighting up the bluetooth device is ready to count I missed to click through the different lighting modes while I was recording this video um, but uh, let me tell you that uh, none of those modes are actually interacting with the content of the music so they're just all just looking pretty much the same all the time independent on what kind of music you're playing or if you're playing any music at all. <laughs> 